When I'm working with people who are preparing for an interview, this is a component of preparing for an interview. Um, what are you putting together for the next day? Do you have your full look together? Do you have your briefcase with you? All of those things. But when you're to address your question specifically, those smaller details make a difference. So if you're wearing, I don't know, exactly this, and it's not properly ironed, or you have that ring around your collar, your belt is all, um, uh, what's the word? Ratty. Yeah, it's ratty, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I trying to say something nicer, but <laughs> it's ratty, sure. Uh, all of those minor little details, if you're, I don't know, for ladies, if those buttons are like hanging on for dear life, like right here, right? <laughs> it's a problem. Go to a tailor, fix it. Um, all of those minor little details, absolutely. It, it, you could dress exactly like this and be focused on the details or not, and, and you look totally different, right? And if you're looking at, you have their resumes, their skills and competencies look the same, but it's those little things when you meet them, right? that really make the difference and how that translate in, into what you end up doing, what they end up doing when they work for you. Are they gonna care about some of those little details in the job? Mm -hmm. And like honestly hearing that, that scares me. <laughs> like I, I don't know how to teach that. Like don't wear a shirt with coffee stains on it. Like um, so I don't know if it's just, you know, you take <laughs> a few minutes longer to stand in front of the mirror before you walk out the door or you know like you said just be prepared I guess if if this doesn't come naturally to you then take the time the night before to well, put it together I, I think that, that that maybe is a male versus female sort of thing because women generally are held to a higher standard when it comes to fashion and I mean it, it, just look at the sales in the fashion industry and you get your answer guys maybe I don't know I mean it this, that's egregious I admit <laughs> But maybe they're getting dressed like, ah, no one's going to notice that. I'll just tuck that over. No, people will notice, just like you said. I mean, those little things, people notice instantly. It's like, a little, oh, what's, oh, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but. <laughs> That'll be the first thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sure. I don't know. Women have a much harder time than men do. You put on a dress shirt, maybe a jacket, pants, whatever that looks like for, for a gentleman. Ladies have way more options to mess up. Uh, it's way more ambiguous, right? So I think in terms of some of those little details, like you know, how long or short is your skirt? Or uh, I'm sure you've seen, well, you have horror stories, I'm sure. <laughs> 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 All of those minor little things um, I, would, I know are amplified for women just because it's way more ambiguous to navigate this world. Mm -hmm.